Hi, I'm Skip Gilbert. Let's take a look at another topic in our series, Take Two. Welcome to Take Two. Today's topic will be on full emotion false alarm. The news is full of stories of people overacting to events that prove to be false alarms. Recently it was reported that about 50 people scrambled from a terminal at LAX airport when somebody yelled at the top of their lungs, run, and they did. Turns out it was a false alarm. We face these false alarm challenges on a regular basis. We encounter situations that from the first report seem to have dire consequences for our role, department, business, profession, or some aspect of our professional lives, but later prove to be less of an issue than originally reported. First and foremost, we need to keep our perspective and realize the improbable is improbable. Things are not likely to be as bad as initially reported. Certainly they will be different than initially reported. As leaders, people look to us to react to the situation and will respond according to our actions and instructions. Keeping our cool and gathering the facts will always play to our advantage. Here are four tips for dealing with a full emotion false alarm. One, keep our cool. Even though it may be a challenge, keep our emotions in check. Two, find the facts. Look for information from more than one source. Try to get information from varying perspectives so we can piece together a clearer picture of the issue. Make a plan. Once we understand the issue, make a plan to resolve the issue. Carefully consider the options and identify the best path forward. Keep some flexibility in the plan to adjust the approach should new information become available that modifies our perspective. Four, communicate. Communicate both the issue and the plan in plain, simple, easy to understand terms. Realize that rumors or other false narr narratives that are in circulation may challenge us. Make sure that everyone has a clear view of the issue and the resulting plan. This is no time for ambiguity as it'll only add to the confusion. Thanks again for taking time to review a few pointers on becoming a more effective leader. You can find more information on the subject and leadership overall at skipgilbert.com. See you next time on Take Two.